Hello guys, my name is Bappi Hamed and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this video, we'll be creating one application called Image Generation. And uh, I think you already know, uh, whenever we try to generate an image, actually, we give a text prompt, right? And uh, we use something called multi-model, okay? Because this, uh, this kinds of multi-model, you will see that uh, they will be uh, creating with the help of hybrid architecture. That means they will be using NLP architecture as well as the uh, computer vision architecture. And uh, uh, I already told you, if I want to train any kinds of computer vision architecture, so I need uh, lots of images. And if I want to get the images, guys, uh, so uh, I showed you different different website you can follow. So one of the website I uh, personally prefer called RoboFlow. So from the RoboFlow, you can uh, download any kinds of images, image kinds of data, and you can train this kinds of GAN model. So let me show you uh, one example how we can get the data from the RoboFlow. So RoboFlow is having uh, one amazing uh, actually service called universe okay so let me show you this universe so this is one uh, amazing product actually from the roboflow so inside universe you will be having all kinds of computer vision related data so inside roboflow universe you can uh, filter out with respect to let's object detection classification image segmentation okay anything so guys now let's create the application so i already uh, created this application so let me show you how it can be done so guys if you go to the openai documentation so here you will see this dali model let me show you so this is the dali model so as you can see, Delhi is having different kinds of, uh, let's say, version like Delhi 3, then Delhi 2. Okay, so different, different version it is having. And Delhi is one of the model actually, it can create actually realistic image from a prompt. Let's say here you will be passing one uh, like text prompt. And with the help of this prompt, actually, it will generate the image. Okay, the prompt you will be asking the same kinds of image actually it will try to generate. And this would be realistic image. Okay, now let's see how we can use OpenAI API to access this Delhi model. And let's build one. Uh, image generator application so what i will do guys uh, i have uh, used the same template as i already used in my previous project implementation i think you remember we are using flask there so i use the same template and i just did little bit modification here so the modification i have done uh, the entire html code okay i've done the modification uh, so let me show you the application like how it will look like let me clear now if i open up my app dot by again so let me go to google and localhost port number 800 so guys you can see this is the interface of my application so to build this interface i have uh, actually uh, collected this html and css code from the bootstrap website i think i showed you that bootstrap website right so uh, you don't need to do anything only you can change the title and all okay everything you can keep it as default because you can use this uh, html and css code uh, as a template okay let's see want to build any other application with the same template you can use this code as it is okay if you are not familiar with html css code it's completely fine you can copy paste from different different website okay now the second changes i have done i've created two route one is my default route that means if user is hitting my uh let's say default route that means uh, port number 8080 so he will get this kinds of landing page okay and to render the landing page actually i'm using render template in this just html okay and whenever user is giving any kinds of prompt and they're submitting okay submitting button so it will hit this route and it will generate and it will execute this function and this function will take the prompt whatever prompt actually user is giving here i think you can see okay and this prompt will go to the openai delhi model you can see to use the openai delhi model you have to use this code snippet openai.image.create okay now inside that just try to mention the prompt number of images you want to generate just give the number of images and the size of the image okay everything you can set here now i'm printing the response as well as the and here you can see i'm also rendering on my user interface okay and again i'm running on localhost and port number 8080 and debug is equal to true means if you are changing anything this will reflect automatically fine so this is the simple modification i have done guys otherwise everything i kept default okay everything i kept default whatever things we have implemented in our previous project so yes guys i think you got it uh using openai is like very easy only you just need to know how we can access different different model rest of the things you can take care okay let's say if you want to create any kinds of application you have to design how you'll be creating okay otherwise the fundamental will remain same now let me show you the demo guys so what i can do i can give a prompt here let's say i'll give a dog is flying and smoking let's say this is my prompt i have given let's see whether it is able to generate the image or not you can give the same prompt in the chat gpt also let me show you chat gpt is also using uh, this kinds of image model recently they have published one model called gpt 4o okay gpt 4o so this model is uh, able to actually create this kinds of image okay but, uh, from your prompt now let me pass this prompt a dog is flying and smoking see it is uh, generating two response 
and let me see my see this one actually it has generated okay this is a cartoon version even you can also generate the realistic one let me show you another prompt so guys uh, this is the prompt i have prepared you can see uh, dream like a beautiful girl uh, playing the festival of color draped in the traditional indian uh, throwing the colors okay now let me send and let me see the response and if i go to the chat gpt see this is the chat gpt response fine see uh, this is the output actually we got okay it's amazing you can see so you can give different different prompt like that and you can generate images and you can also control like how many images you need so here i mentioned i think you saw only five images that's why it's giving five images okay and you, you can also mention the size everything you can mention so yes guys uh, this is the application we have developed i hope you liked it and now uh, what you can do you can improve this application you can add some more functionality see i think the previous application we created that uh, whisper model what you can do you can integrate uh, like both application in one place okay and you can create a complete platform okay that thing i think you can perform okay this would be a good project for you so yes guys this is all about from my side please subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends and family and please support the channel guys uh, if you support the channel so definitely uh, we'll be bringing up these kinds of uh, content okay for you and you can let us know what kinds of content you, you want okay from my end i'll try to provide so thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time